Well, we are here with Kelly Wilson, director of the IU Center for Art and Design in Columbus, to learn some key aspects of that type of innovation. Kelly, thank you so much for being here. Now, you and some colleagues are getting ready to put on a really fascinating symposium called Drawing and the Brain in Columbus. Uh, it's going to bring together artists, architects, scientists, and the focus is on the importance of sketching. So tell me more about the symposium and, and the mission behind it. Thank you, Erica. Uh, the center in Columbus is sponsoring this, uh, this uh, symposium, uh, Drawing in the Brain, uh, and indeed, there are 24 uh, scientists, uh, we have cognitive scientists, we have medical, uh, MD, uh, engineers, uh, with uh, artists and architects who are the best people uh, who practice drawing and actually teach it, uh, with the next generation of folks writing code for drawing software. And the reason for asking these three basic kinds of people to come together is to discuss the, uh, what the sciences are finding uh, with the neurological implications about what drawing does with the human imagination. Uh, our own IU professor, Karen James, uh, has, uh, with part of her research, discovered that uh, children who uh, handwrite um, uh, uh, in print uh, actually have their brain registers an authorial connection to their writing that doesn't follow them when they uh, use a typewriter or they trace uh, 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 letters. And this has implications for how we learn and why, how we think and how we construct our minds when in fact we try to understand something in the imagination like design. And so this conversation we imagine between the scientists, the artists, architects, designers, and then the other designers writing code uh, is to cross each other's conversations with concepts that would inform each other uh, relative to this process. And uh, we think this is the first time that these three people have ever been brought together in conversation. Give us a little primer on what really is the importance of sketching. You have something when you draw which is tactile. Uh, we call it touch. And so when you use your, uh, the, our biologies for millions of years have evolved with our brain's capacity to think and to imagine, and it stands to reason that there's some hardwiring going on between how you use your body uh, and how you think or imagine. And so the activity of touch and surface, uh, what we call our support or paper, gives us biofeedback that plays back into your mind and produces magically more things you can think about that you had not uh, conceived of uh, prior. It's, uh, it's intrinsic reciprocity between mind and act, if I'm to quote Michael Graves, an architect uh, actually from Indiana. Uh, and this, this is extremely important for your sense of connectivity to the concepts that you're trying to embody and take belief in when you design uh, so that you sense emotional intelligence in your work, not only the analytical intelligence of solving problems. Well, this is truly a one-of-a-kind one of kind symposium happening in Indiana, and it's really exciting to see this innovation happening in our state. Thank you so much for being here, Kelly. We appreciate it. Thank you.